Many students gathered inside of the Ohio Stadium this weekend to watch the spring football game. But other students gathered right next door to watch a different type of competition taking place. The game, dodgeball. Whenever we say it, tell somebody we play dodgeball, the first reaction is, oh, like the movie. It's sort of like the movie on the precedence that we go and you play until you eliminate the other team. The National Collegiate Dodgeball Association hosted its 10th annual national competition here at Ohio State's campus and is comprised of 25 different teams. Both men and women from all over the Midwest came to compete in the dodgeball tournament. The object of the game is to eliminate the entire enemy team um, and by throwing or catching the other team's balls. Um, we play two 25-minute periods um, and you score as many points as you can during those 50 minutes of play. Students talked about what it was like to watch the games. There's a lot of technique to it. It's not just um, throwing dodgeballs. There's like forms. They do like a triangle form. It's really, it's crazy. Dodgeball is a very intense sport, much more so than I would have predicted. They're throwing the balls really hard. People are getting hurt. hurt. Uh, it's just crazy. They, already, they broke a glass door. I, I never expected dodgeball to be this intense. According to Carlton, the average speed of a dodgeball can range from 65 to 70 miles per hour. Carlton said that Ohio State came ready with more than just fast throws for the tournament. A member of his team had the idea to come with lucky facial hair. Um, so he wanted to call it stationals. Um, some of us couldn't all grow facial hair, a bunch of us couldn't, but uh, it was still a fun idea considering all the different championships have been won with facial hair, so. Although Ohio State lost during the first round of the championship, Carlton says he has high hopes for the team's future. We are extremely young and I expect nothing but greatness from them from years to come. Regina Bonfiglio for The Lantern.